Hey, what is going on guys? Hex coming over back in today. And as you all see in the title below, the topic today is who is my favorite anime reviewer? And I know, I know what you're all thinking. You're all thinking that this sweatshirt looks pretty good on me. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe maybe you don't. Maybe you don't. But no, what you're all really thinking is probably, that's a good ass question, but you never decided to leave it in the Q&A. But guess what? I'm here to answer my own, well, maybe not my own question, but I'm here to answer that question for you guys. So, I was really inspired initially by From Neverworld. But hold up, that's not my favorite. Not not straight up anime reviewer. The title is very specific, anime reviewer. And For Neverworld does multiple things. It's not just a reviewer. Not as much as I do but outside of the reviewing aspect, but he definitely talks about other things. Now we're talking about an anime YouTuber that strictly does reviews, literally only does reviews once a week. And unless, of course, it's the week of awesome, and he just, you know, did that once a year thing. He just uploads every day of the week. So, yeah, it doesn't really matter how long the series is for the most part. Well, Hunter x Hunter was recently the longest one he did. And that anime reviewer just so happens to be Glass Reflection and or otherwise known as Arcata. And he noticed how I kind of changed the voice there because I want to be like him. No, no, okay, 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 maybe a little bit. But why do I like Arcata is what you guys are really, really, really wondering. And the reason behind me liking Arcata is simply because he, there's no one in the biz better than him with his words. He's just so great grammatically. And just the tone of his voice, you can really tell he was made to be behind a mic. You could, like, really tell, like, anime and him behind a mic was going to be something special whenever he got into the biz of doing YouTube about anime. In the clips, which are so, I'm so scared of getting copyright strikes of doing, the clips he does and the way he narrates over them, really he's a great director in his own right. And that's why I like this guy. And if you guys really, 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 you know, I'll even say this, above my own reviews, this is how much I like this guy. Far above my own, he, he blows me out of the water. He makes me look terrible. Go watch this guy's channel, subscribe, and quite frankly, whether you like the anime he suggests or not, like every single one of his videos, simply because this man is above the rest. He he is on a high pedestal when it comes to reviewing, and I can't imagine anybody, anybody passing him up and or being better than him. And I don't even know another reviewer that has more subscribers than him. He's like, like 370,000, something like that. And the guys, he's a great-hearted dude. Go, just go to his channel, guys. I'm not going to sit here and start repeating myself. But when it comes down to it, Glass Reflection and or Arcata, the man in the red suit, usually, the Canadian bacon. Yeah, he's Canadian, by the way, if you guys don't understand that. But <laughs> go to this guy's channel, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. We'll use my outro for his channel. And follow him on Twitter. At Glass Reflection? Yeah. Just type in Glass Reflection. You'll see him. He has the blonde hair and the stew, you know, and the point out. Yeah. But as always, guys, I'm sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter at X25. This is my actual this time, and I'll see you guys in the next video.